Hello, I'm Soycat, and welcome back to my second channel, Geography Video. This is a series where we talk about geography and the world and stuff. And a lot of people have been saying they find these second channel videos to be informative and educational, and I love those praises, but don't get me wrong, that's entirely untrue. And to prove it, let's talk about McDonald's in interesting locations, because I found out about recently the Mukski in Sweden. It is a thing that looks so fake because it's a McDonald's restaurant on the ski slope. You can ski right up to it, and I didn't believe it, even though I've seen a bunch of images, because there's a lot of fake things like this on the internet until I saw on the McDonald's Sweden or Sverig uh, as it is in Swedish um, ch channel, this is their official uh, page, you can see there is an ad for, you know, a bunch of people that go on skiing, it's really uh, what's it called when it's like s foggy but like snow fog and wow they're on their skis but what do they find? A muck ski and in case you're curious it's not like a weird gimmick it is actual McDonald's field, uh, McDonald's <laughs> um, menu items you can buy there including the Happy Meal or the Spot Love Endast 30 Krona uh, Nya Happy Meal <laughs> with Latte Mjolk uh, you, you know isn't this great isn't this what you want from your life Toy Cat pronouncing Swedish but no this got me in a little bit of a journey because I then thought, you know what, what's the biggest McDonald's in the world? One of the things I've had so many subscribers tell me about, I don't even know why, like, I know I like McDonald's on this channel, I know I like weird niche, uh, you know, geography facts, but so many people have told me about the real, real Rogers Turnpike and the McDonald's which rests above it. So, ignoring the weirdness in America around, like, Turnpike versus Highway, this is a McDonald's which takes up that entire building because it's a giant arch, right? McDonald's is known for their arches, but you know what, the, the thing about this that strikes me as weird is, like, you can immediately tell, like, wait, it's one arch, it's not two, it's not golden arches, it's just an arch shaped building. And although that could all be a McDonald's, if you look over here to the side, you can see that this whole building right here is not just a McDonald's, it's not just a subway, but it's also a come and go. <laughs> Is that a is that a chain? Is that a one-off? What is why is the K connected to the G? There's so many questions about how they do everything about this. But anyway, McDonald's, Subway, and Come and Go share this building, and therefore it's not the biggest McDonald's in the world. A number of McDonald's that people tell me about all the time is this one because I walked past it in a video many years ago, one of the first times I came to America. I was in Chicago walking around talking about things I liked and disliked about America and I happened to walk past a very famous McDonald's, this one right here, which uh, in case you're curious, it doesn't look like this. Or it didn't look like this in the video. It looked something like, I guess it would have been 2016, so it looked like this. And everyone's like, that's the rock and roll McDonald's. It's the biggest McDonald's in the world, so you can't. And uh, so I did some Googling because like rather than just going around things that people have said are the biggest. Let's do the easiest thing in any one of these like, oh, I don't know, and Google it. But the thing is, when I googled bi biggest McDonald's in the world, I came across questionable journalism like this one from Yahoo Finance, by the way. Um, Yahoo Finance, would you assume if there's going to be a part of Yahoo that takes their news seriously, it's the finance size, and it's like, oh no, this is the world's largest McDonald's, a 19,000 square feet place. It sounds really great until you realize that their entire premise, the whole thing behind this, is they found a TikTok. For real, the ho a whole Yahoo Finance article was written around this one TikTok that they found. Here in Orlando, Florida, it's so big it literally has a. Is this journalism? Bar, <laughs> as well as a firestone pizza oven where you can order pizzas and pastas. Their menu. They do have a very calming voice. Not good TikTok, but can you use TikToks as a source for news articles? Did the guy that day just go, you know? I'm writing an article about the TikTok, or did his boss go find good TikToks and write articles about them? And clearly they were, they go more successful than actual Yahoo Finance news. What what's on Yahoo Finance today? Like, oh, you want to read about free trade deals of Turkey this week? You don't want to you don't want to read about that. What you want to read about is you want to read about McDonald's having a 19,000 square feet restaurant, which isn't the largest in the world. Because I then found the largest .org. You know, nice. Looks very realistic, looks Guinness World Recordy, but you know, without the Guinness World Records. So it could be good, right? And you can see how like, okay, it's bigger than the Melville store, bigger than the the Rock McDonald's. Oh, actually, it's tied with the you Rock McDonald's. Oh God, like no, not this again. <laughs> it's tied with the Rock McDonald's and therefore there are three McDonald's bigger. The Epic McD, which suspiciously enough, actually that is the one they're talking about. You know what? Maybe they're correct about this. Then there's a Moscow McDonald's, Moscow McDonald's, but because it's an American fast food chain, Americans say Moscow for no good reason that I can understand. But it's a Moscow McDonald's, um, as you can see right here, or Moscow if you live in the rest of the world. And then finally, there's the Frankfurt Airport McDonald's with 43,000 square feet. That puts this one to rest, right? We found the biggest McDonald's in the world and we're good to go. But 
just luckily, like, I honestly, this is what scares me. If I, if it were, you know, like, if this weren't a place I had been, I'd be like, oh, yeah, look how big that McDonald's is. That seems like roughly 43,000 square feet. But this, this measurement is wrong. And I can tell you because I've been to Frankfurt Airport. This is the Frankfurt Airport McDonald's. I've been to this airport many times. Uh, sorry, been to this McDonald's many times. Um, if you don't know, I used to. Uh, date a girl who lived in Frankfurt. So I went via Frankfurt a lot. It's a major aviation hub for Europe. And, uh, you know, like, sometimes, you know, you have flight. There's a, there's a bit of a, delay, a gap between things. So you go to McDonald's because, you know, I like, I like sampling McDonald's around Europe. And when life gives you lemons, the biggest McDonald's in Europe, why not take them? And sure, there is a, a little play park, which is kind of rare in the UK. Not so much in Europe, but like, you can see I like, oh, it's such a big McDonald's. But is it actually? Is this actually a huge McDonald's? The answer I don't think is yes, because if you look around, it's actually like, I have a McDonald's near me that is not much <laughs> smaller than this. You can see there's this much food area, then there's the thing. And I think it's counting the whole deck up here, but there's lots of things on this deck that clearly aren't McDonald's. There's trees over there. Uh, there's like a Frankfurt Airport terrace that you have to pay to go see. I would argue this is a pretty normal sized McDonald's. If it is the biggest in the world, I hate to think what these other tiny ones look like. And uh, as a result, this is not the world's biggest McDonald's. They've used an inaccurate measurement somewhere, or they're really stretching it, or maybe my sense of measurement's just all off. But I, I can assure you, I've walked through this McDonald's many times. Uh, many times, it's not that much bigger because it's in an airport. <laughs> Airports don't have the space. Um, actually, wait over there. I, I, I spent like an afternoon napping uh, after some McDonald's. It was good. I, you know, I, I've had some serious relationship talks that ended in a breakup. Just, just, uh, just over there. Do you wanna, do you wanna think about those, or do you wanna go back under this rabbit hole? Because um, then, I, then I dove a little bit further into it, and I found out about oh, Taiwan's. Uh, McDonald's 2.0 is moving fast up up market. That's that's interesting. And then I read more about the the epic McD in Orlando, Florida, which gets its own Wikipedia page. And it's like, okay, that's interesting. Then I read about the world's largest Burger King because you know what? Every single world's largest chain is a famous thing. This is actually interesting enough. Also in a uh, airport from Schiphol Plaza's Central Hall, which is so bizarre, right? Like, okay, so then the the airport in in, in, in Amsterdam has the world's largest Burger King and the airport in, in Frankfurt has the world's largest McDonald's. What about the world's largest White Castle? And then this is in Orlando and it's like, huh, America really does just go to Orlando just to have a big, big, big party. And the only way to stand out is to have an overly sized thing, huh? You know, is, is that what I meant to take from this? What's the world's largest Wawa? Who cares about, like, I love Wawa, but it's a very Northeast regional chain. But it's like, ooh, it's in Philadelphia. Ooh, better, better go there at some point. You know what, why have I not been already? And then you, then you can just dive down this forever. And honestly, I think it's mostly marketing. I think it mostly goes to marketing, but you know it's not marketing, because I could leave this here and be like, well, that's interesting, we're done. What if I told you though about the Muck train? Would you believe me? I didn't believe this article. It came out on December 24th, and no, I, I don't believe. I don't believe that there is actually a McDonald's train carriage. <laughs> Look at this. This seems fake. This seems like a Photoshop future, or bare minimum it seems like, oh yes, McDonald's go behind Iron Curtain and trade with, I think this is Kazakh but very bad, you know, terrible, terrible mistake there. But like, um, you know, it sounds like a like, you know, like some weird venture where like McDonald's bought a train. You know how like Pepsi had loads of ships from the Russian Navy? Maybe McDonald's owned some trains in, in Kazakhstan or something. But no, this is DB, Deutsche Bahn. This is in Germany again. And uh, regardless of where you spot the McDonald's gold notches, they always stand for the same thing. A cheap place, get a quick, sometimes tasty meal, and blah, 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 blah. You know, everyone likes to criticize McDonald's. Wow, why don't we have more praise of McDonald's? But anyway, so there's, um, an interesting concept was the McTrain got its start in 1992 when the Deutsche Bundesbahn DB um, tried to outsource catering, and so they had two of their dining cars retrofitted with deep fryers, um, with, with water heaters, soda fountains, and uh, coffee machines, and so they could have McDonald's on a train. And uh, the, the problem with it is apparently is like the logistics of running a McDonald's on the move are hard. If someone shows up five minutes late for work, then they haven't showed up at all because it's a train. Uh, they have to get people back to their homes, otherwise they have to pay for accommodation or a train. Basically, it's a it's a it's a lot harder to staff a train, uh, ignoring the cost of running the train compared to dining cars. Basically, it didn't work for any of the partners, and eventually it had to be replaced. But look at this, and like this is in Switzerland. They tried it a little bit there too, by the way. It's insane, but I love the idea, and I'm so sad it didn't do better because. 
I hate train. You know, like when you're on a when you're on a train, it's just like, oh, would you like to buy some microwave pasta for six euros? You know, what I would love. Hey, here's my, it even double charge me. Like, oh, it's gonna be a whole six euros for a Big Mac, or like ten euros for the meal. Wow, and I'd be like, heck yeah, McDonald's. I know it's a consistent quality. It's a known thing. Whereas like m m microwave pasta, is that gonna be awful? Good? Okay? Bad? They can pick. They can pick without your knowledge. But McDonald's, you know what you're getting, and you know uh, how much you're being overcharged if you are. And that is something we don't have on trains anymore. But what I also found out about from this is this came that this whole article came from a tweet from non-standard McDonald's. And so if you look around this, you can see there's a whole Twitter page dedicated to non-standard McDonald's. Would you believe that? I bet you wouldn't believe that. So here you can see this one is a North Pole McDonald's. Which, I mean, like, sure, cute. It's in Finland, I'm gonna guess, from the Santa Claus Lane. Uh, then you can see, like, the Langtree Mall McDonald's. This one looks kind of quirky, I would say. Like, not not overly quirky. Uh, I would even say it's entirely non-standard. But every now and then you find a real gold one. Like, okay, here's a community direct aid McDonald's. Uh, here is a... Uh, you know, let's, let's just look through this whole Twitter page. You know, who needs content for videos when Twitter's here? Let's zoom in a couple couple things. Who, who even needs it, right? Like, World of Warcraft McDonald's? <laughs> Various locations around China? She, this is cool, right? You know, I I love the Mickey D McDonald's. Mickey D Dinosaur Cafe, actually. Um, A&S, oh wait, yeah. Uh, A&S Plaza McDonald's? Whoa. Honestly, I, I know like the past was, like this is the past emulating the past and then looking weird because it looks like it's all the way in the past rather than the, sh the past trying to be the past. Here's St. Petersburg McDonald's. Oh, in Europe, we have a big trend of like putting like McDonald's in historic buildings and I love it. Like I bet that's what a lot of these are gonna be. This is a uh, Serbian McDonald's. Man, look at, look how beautiful it is. Like pick any, pick any like historic town uh, in Europe and then look at their McDonald's and it'll be pretty good. Like, um, you know, let's go for I think Heidelberg's a pretty city and wait wait there's a there's a city south of Nuremberg somewhere I couldn't tell you what it is uh, but there's like it's famous for a castle I'll find it you know there aren't Memmingen no Rosenheim Munich uh, it's it's got a fun name ah oh, you know I'm let's just go to Pensburg this is probably not a historic town oh we're in Germany we can't look at Germany you know let's go to a country that it doesn't disagree with the idea of street view look at this I can street view anywhere around but I can't street view most of this. So let's instead go to like small town. Uh, this is a big city actually. Let's go to Aarhus uh, and then let's let's search up McDonald's. Or we could look at Bubble Tea. <laughs> it's not very good apparently. 3.3 .3 stars. Would not recommend. Um, if we find a McDonald's, or let's, you know what, here's a McDonald's, here's a Burger King. Doesn't prove my point in the slightest. It's like, wow, look at that Burger King just like seamlessly in that facade right next to that Hotel Ritz. You know, when you stay at the Ritz, this unpretentious lodging with a restaurant. Really, you go across the Burger King, don't you? You know, actually, man, this is a pretty city. You know, I I like how Denmark looks. You know, the, 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 this is this is a very cute city. I need to come to Aarhus sometime. I know it's like the third biggest city in Denmark, maybe the second, but I I have never looked at it a single time, but I, I feel a sense of wanting to go there. Okay, different different random town. We're gonna go to Poland. We'll go to Lodz, Lodz, and we'll find a McDonald's. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how, with no knowledge whatsoever, you can find a McDonald's? This should be a game, like, pick a city, how fast can someone find a McDonald's? So this McDonald's is actually a standalone. This is very, like, in my head, like, the American style, like, just plop one down somewhere. But if we go to a different uh, Polish town, let's go to uh, Chet Kat Katowice, uh, Katowice over here. Uh, and it's like, restaurant chat, McDonald's, see that? There we go, it's in the, in the facade. They bought an old building, I'm assuming. Yeah, there we go, and look at that. You're walking down the street when you see your classic H&M. Actually, this is a very, like, converted street, but, like, it's a very old street you can see right here, but in spite of that, there is just a McDonald's kind of built into it. People have their apartments right above McDonald's. This this used to be some grand building, and now it's a McDonald's, but McDonald's does a really good job of, like, building into that and making it part of the area. Like, you know, it looks just as natural as this Mienshi Staffordshire. Does that say Joe Biden? Am I am I having a, a stroke or something? Anyway, so what I'm trying to say right here is I want to play the fun game of find the McDonald's in the weird European city. And so you, oh, let's, you better believe we're going to do that. Let's pick like a small town in 
Lviv. Lviv. Wait, does Ukraine have Street View? Oh, you better believe it does. Um, so we're going to go to... Oh, God. Should we just play GeoGuessr? But really, it's me going on a road trip to find McDonald's. <gasps> That's a stream idea. Let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. I could do this all day, though. Uh, like, for real. Uh, McDonald McDonald's have interesting locations. And you can do that all day. And looking through them, it's so interesting. Because it's a concept that's so standard, but it knows how to deviate from that standard in an interesting way. And maybe maybe I shouldn't admire that too much, but you better believe I do. Look look at this upside down McDonald's. Is it actually upside down? Oh, the roof's upside down. Is that... Does that actually look like it's upside down to anyone else? Or am I... Whatever. You know, this is... Is, is it actually upside down? I feel like... Oh, wait. <laughs> it does actually look... <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's quirky design, right? Quirky design. You get exactly the same thing, but it's different. And the fact that they know how to master that is the real reason McDonald's is a successful chain. And that's why Mukski, you see this? This is real. This is real. This is, this is bad journalism. And this used to be real until sometime in 2019 when it became this. Okay, there we go. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I, uh, I should go to Chicago sometime. I, wait, can I, you know, these videos have no natural flow. This video is brought to you by Twicat's story from Chicago. Wow, that's right. If you do absolutely nothing, you can get 5% off a non-existent service. No, I was right over like, um, I remember there was a 7-Eleven on the block. It was right here, Chicago. There was a 7-Eleven on the corner. There was a Chick-fil-A that, yeah, it's, it was here. So I was on this corner right here. And a home, <laughs> like, I, I know everyone has like their own little story. Oh no, the 7-Eleven's been replaced by a, sev a, a Devon Seafood. Oh, you know, this this right here is the real tragedy. Uh, but I remember like this this car being on there, very bizarre. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I, a guy was outside and he approached me in a way that I was like a little scared with. He's like, hey, you got any food? And I was like, ah, oh, nah. And then he just like looked in my bag <laughs> and he found some fruit. And he's like, yeah, I don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> and have you, ever, have you ever had a homeless guy be like, yeah, your food's not good enough for human consumption? Bet you haven't. But I felt that I was being so... I was so healthy that day that someone didn't even want to steal my food. Isn't that nice? And yeah, that's why I recommend coming to this 7-Eleven, which has a 2.7 star review on Google. Disgusting. The error to grab your cups, ab caps for slushies were... I reached in the middle for a cap and the cap had dirt in it. A store that offers food and beverage should never be dirty, especially during a pandemic! The only okay part was the F. <laughs> okay, there we go. This this is nice. Thank you, Ronnie Charais. So every now and then I want to like look into these people. Oh, look, racist four. <laughs> this is the most racist people that work in the store. They are darker than me, but they have the nerve to be racist against me. Racist. Racist and called cops because friends were black and looked suspicious. So yeah, don't go to this 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 7-Eleven because they will call the cops on you if you're blacker than this woman. That is the that is the that is the barometer we now have in our head. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I don't know where this even went. Uh, I hope you didn't learn anything. Yeah, you think these videos are educational? You're not going to learn anything. You're not, you're not going to learn about the bizarre brand standard that is McDonald's and how it's different than what you expect. No, you leave this video with less knowledge than you came to it. And that's because second channel, don't care. Goodbye.